Bree, don't delete this. I know you hate me, but we were best friends once, and I need you to read this. I think I'm in serious trouble, and there's nothing you can do, but I need you to read this so you understand. I know we haven't talked since sectionals. It's been forever, but what happened to you wasn't my fault. At least, it wasn't entirely my fault. I know that everyone thinks it was, but I would never do anything to hurt you. This is going to sound crazy, but I need to tell you this so that someone knows. It started when we were in 8th grade. It was the night before the Crystal Classic competition. I was at home, and I couldn't sleep because I was so nervous about competing. Well, I got on the computer, just sort of surfing the web and stuff, but I couldn't concentrate on anything. I was just sitting there, so I googled myself. I never should have done that, Bree. At first, it was all the usual stuff you find when you google yourself. Then, I found a link to a Wikipedia page about me. I thought our club made it, or my dad or something. There wasn't much there, just some basic facts about skating, what city I lived in. But the thing that got me was that it said that I won that year's Crystal Classic. I laughed. I thought for sure someone just did it to encourage me. I confronted my dad about it, but he denied it. When I won the competition the next day, I was so happy. That was the first competition that I had ever won, and it felt so good. Remember how hard I worked after that? That's when my parents hired Sergi to coach me. You know how much that must have cost. After that, I would check my page before every competition, and it would always tell me the results of how I placed. It said I would win the regionals at 15, and it all came true. After that, Sergi convinced my mom and dad that I had a real shot at the Olympics. That's when they pulled me from school. I skated every day, but I just wasn't progressing the way Sergi said I needed to if I wanted a shot at the championship. I was working so hard, and I was skating well, but still, Sergi said it wasn't good enough. When the sectionals came, all I could think about was winning. So I did something I shouldn't have. Everyone was saying that you were the favorite, and I felt like I had already lost the competition. 